The 1980 El Asnam earthquake Algeria. Algeria rebuilt the same city twice on the same fault line, and both times it was destroyed. The repeated tragedy. October 10th, 1980. A magnitude 7.1 earthquake hits Algeria's Chela Valley. Official counts put the death toll at 2,633, but estimates suggest the true number may have reached 6,500. Over 300,000 people were left homeless. 80% of El Asnam, gone in 35 seconds. The ignored warning. The devastating part? This exact same location was flattened by a magnitude 6.7 earthquake in 1954, killing over 1,200 people. When Algeria gained independence, they renamed the city from Orleansville to El Asnam and erased its seismic history. The population nearly tripled from 44,000 to 125,000, building modern towers on soil that had already betrayed them. Design flaws became death traps. Buildings didn't topple, they pancaked. A design flaw called the Vide Sanitaire, short columns supporting crawl spaces for plumbing, shattered on impact. The city's main hospital was so badly damaged that survivors had to be transported 160 kilometers to receive care. This is what I call manufactured vulnerability. Earthquakes don't kill people. Institutional amnesia and building codes written in bureaucratic convenience do. The city was renamed again after the 1980 quake to Schleff, trying to escape its curse. But renaming a city doesn't heal trauma, it buries it.